Yo, welcome back. This is Stu42 with another Minecraft video for you. Uh, as I said last episode, this episode I will quickly try to explain uh, my findings with this electric blast furnace. It is a bit weird in the way that it works. So one of the things that I've really learnt with Greg Tech is use a battery buffer. Uh, the battery buffer just seems to be a very good way of regulating uh, regulating voltages and regulating uh, exactly what you want to go into each machine. So one of the things I found with this blast furnace is, as you remember, I was running it off LV hatches. Uh, I still am running it off LV hatches, but I only need three of them. Now, the reason is, when you look at the recipes in this thing, uh, I don't think I can look at them there, uh, but if you, like for example, I'm currently smelting some silicon in there. So if we look at silicon and go to the blast furnace, voltage unspecified, amperage unspecified. Now, through a bit of trial and error, I've worked out that it's about five amps that this thing is actually wanting to do that smelt. Now, also the uh, input, the energy hatches, seem to handle about 2 amps per hatch. So whenever you go to one energy hatch, it'll just never work. Even if you have an HV energy hatch there, it just it just plain won't work. So, so you need to have uh, at least 3 of them, um, because 2 plus 2 plus 2, 6, uh, 6 amperages, or 6 amps rather, um, and it needs 5 uh, to, run the, to run the thing. So that's why we've got 3 hatches. Now, three of these, LV, that's 32 plus 32 plus 32 equals only 96. And yet, we're smelting just fine with our silicon. And as you might have noticed before, it's actually 120 EU per tick. So one of the other things I've found is this usage here, it doesn't matter how it gets this 120. It can have, it's more of 120 EU packets per tick. And I've started thinking of it in terms of packets. Uh, because it seems to make a bit more sense with how it's actually working. So in the battery buffer, we have six of these batteries. Now that means I can output six amps, and by amps, that means per tick, I can output six 32 EU packets per tick. And that packet distinction is pretty important. So if I take one of these batteries out, it'll still work because we've got five. And this is how I worked out that it needs five amps. If I took another battery out right now and it would only output four amps, this would fail. It would it would stop smelting. Uh, I don't really want to do that because all my silicon is precious. Uh, so I'll leave it in there uh, and I can put this back in. It doesn't matter how many batteries you have in here. The usage seems to be much the same if you put more batteries in. It's not going to waste any energy. Now the reason I did all this is under here I have these two advanced steam turbines. Now they pump out <coughs> they pump out 128 EU per tick each. And what I was originally doing was I was pumping those into um, uh, what was it? I think I was pumping them into MV hatches or um, pumping ah oh, that's right I was pumping them into this. So I had a medium voltage battery buffer again to get the amps up. It would have uh, five of these in here. So I could get my five amps, but each one of these batteries only outputs 128 EU packets. Now this is where it gets a bit brain bendy. Now even though 128 EU packet can go into here and it's more than the 120 that it needs, because it needs five amps, it's going to go ahead and use five of these packets up regardless. And what that means is that at 128 times five, you're using up whatever it is, 640 um, EU per tick. So even though we're smelting only using 128 EU per tick, or 120, uh, oh, sorry, 120 EU packets per tick, because of the amperage requirements and the fact that this battery buffer can't go below 128 packets, it's going to just output five of these 128 packets regardless. Now, when you're trying to pump up 640, you know, pump 640 EU back into here, it meant that my steam was draining. I was using something like, you know, a single aluminium smelt was taking something like 2 million or over 2 million steam, which is just insane. Uh, whereas now, under this new system, um, admittedly I haven't got it hooked up at the moment, uh, but under the new system, it's using, you know, hardly any, so it was like 200,000 steam for, for, um, for a single smelt. So we're looking at you know, saving, uh, saving like 90% of the steam usage. So one of the things I've really found with this is 
if you know your amps and you know how much it's going to require, so back on the screen, if you know that it's going to need 120 EU per tick and you know it's going to use 5 amps, what you should do is you should divide this by the number of amps and that is what sort of voltage you need to supply it as long as you can meet the packet requirements which is what the amps is so that's one of the reasons why I've gone back to 32 because it's the smallest I can do uh, and with the 32 packets I'm still wasting a bit to be honest because 5 times 32 is actually like you know 150 160 EU per tick so I am still wasting a bit of EU just because this thing needs um, needs 5 amps unfortunately 120 divided by 5 is you know it's like 24, uh, 24 EU per tick, um, or 24 EU packets per tick, and that just doesn't exist. You know, we've got 32, or we've got eight <laughs> to, to play with, so that's all we've got. So 32 is uh, pretty good. Um, these two low voltage transformers were what was running this. They just run from under there. So uh, each one of those advanced turbines brings in 128 at one amp. These things will output four 32 packets per tick which is four amps so however many packets are going through per tick that's how many amps so these things here will actually output uh, twice that so you'll end up with eight amps coming into here um, which means eight 32 packets per tick uh, and each one of these batteries that are in here means that it can handle twice that so this thing can actually handle 12 amps coming in to charge it uh, which means I can take two of these batteries out and I'll still charge if I took three of these batteries out and tried to charge from both of these uh, I would have an explosion on my hands uh, I'm pretty sure this would either stop charging or would blow up uh, depending on the config now as I said in the last episode I'm running this off lava at the moment just because I have too much lava I've been trying to clean out my mining thing um, as I mine and the lava just gets in the way so um, rather than storing it or voiding it or whatever I've decided to just use it for this um, you know I've got an MFE here that's I'm using to sort of charge my jetpack and charge my nano suit stuff um, but you know I, I'm more than able to like if I grab my wire cutters and cut that I mean it'll run just as well from here uh, and as you can see, these are uh, well, they're fully charged at the moment. So I might just let's smelt the last of our silicon dust. So once that goes green, this will start using. Uh, this will eventually start using. I think uh, actually maybe not because we've got eight amps coming in and we're only using five. Uh, it won't actually do anything. We can sort of shortcut the process by doing this. So what that means now is we've only got four amps going in, but five amps going out. Uh, which means eventually these there's a, there's a small buffer actually in the block itself, but these will start getting used. Uh, but as you can also see, steam is really starting to get chewed up. Uh, and if I put that other wire back in, it gets chewed up a bit faster again. Yeah, here we go. So now we're starting to to lose it. Uh, but if we put this back in, four amps from there, four amps from there, eight amps going in, only five amps going out. Now they're charging again. Uh, but again, like I said, this is now draining even faster. So, uh, so yeah, so that's, I hope that's explained it. Uh, again, feel free to uh, please ask questions. If, if you, any of this is in doubt, um, please ask questions and I'll try and explain it the best I can. Uh, but essentially, if you know the amps, the amps is how many packets it's going to require per tick. Uh, and you may as well make those packets add up to pretty much what the voltage needs because if you supply any more, you're just going to be wasting a ton of power. Uh, and I presume it gets even worse when you're starting to do this. Like my nitro diesel is pretty precious to me. If I had the same situation going on here and I was using nitro diesel, yeah, I would not like to be wasting, you know, 80, 90% of my nitro diesel just because I needed more packets going in. So uh, that's it from me for this time. Uh, as always, thank you very much for watching and uh, we'll see you again next time.